Right, um, so we've going through the second video on lossless compression. Okay, this one's on run length encoding. Uh, right, so we, we, the big question for this basic is how does run length encoding work? Uh, we will be going through in class um, an algorithm and having a go at actually coding it. All right, so if you remember the, the definition of compression, and at the bottom, the third bullet point, basically lossless compression, uh, again, is to do with accuracy when we're preserving the meaning of the data because the information needs to be accurate. Okay, so run length encoding obviously is a form of lossless compression, as I've mentioned before. Basically, what we're doing is restoring a run of similar data as a single data value and as a count of how many repetitions um, there have been of that item of data. Okay, so... Uh, best way to imagine this is to think about if you're standing outside you've got a friend inside the house and you're calling to that friend um, the cars that are driving past the house so you could stand there and be doing something like red 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 blue blue purple purple black 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 red red okay now you could do that through the whole day and it'd be quite tiring okay you've got a lot of information there that you're giving to the person inside instead you could do this okay you could basically go three red two blue two purple three black, two red. You're still giving them the same information, but obviously you're reducing the amount of information that you're giving to them, all right? But they can still extrapolate the actual, uh, uh, you know, accurately under, uh, extrapolate the actual information about what cars have been driving past their house, okay? So just to visualize that, that was the original versus the run length encoding version, all right? So we're storing the count and the data item okay one run being one set of repetition of a particular data item so if you're going to apply that for example to images if we were assuming 8 bits per pixel and that was one line of my image then I've got 38 pixels therefore I've got 38 bytes now if I was using run length encoding for that same image basically I'd be doing something like this 4 red, 5 blue, 5 purple, 5 orange blah 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 All right. And so uh, that basically could be compressed down to 16 bytes, yeah, where I'm using one byte for the count and one byte for the data item, yeah. Um, obviously, if I was had a larger, um, if I was had like a 24 bits per pixel, then basically you would see the significantly reduced file size when we've used run length encoding to compress it. So. In terms of the pros and cons of run length encoding, you can imagine immediately it works well if you've got data with a lot of runs in it. So, for example, if you took a photograph of the sky, all right, you took a photograph, I don't know, with lots of sky in it, then there's lots of the same shade of blue. So you'll have loads of runs, and therefore, when you turn that into a JPEG, you'll have like loads of um, uh, repeated pixels, and therefore, lots of compression. If you took another picture, I don't know, against like a rug or something, you know, a colourful rug, then uh, you've got lots of non-repetitive non data in there. And so therefore you might actually end up having a larger file size because you're going to store a count plus the data itself. But you might only have a single pixel with that particular shade in it, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, and so there are the pros and cons of uh, run length encoding there. So you should understand now how run length encoding works. And... Have a think about an algorithm for it because we're going to be coding it in class.